Interstellar introduces us to a fascinating concept known as gravitational time dilation. theory from Einstein's general relativity tells us that gravity can influence time. Simply put, the stronger the gravity, the slower the time. In the movie, there's an exciting moment where the characters land on a planet that orbits close to a giant black hole. This black hole has a huge gravitational pull. So according to the rules of gravitational time dilation, time on this planet goes very slowly. The film presents this in an extreme way. One hour on the planet equals seven years outside its gravity. This portrayal of time dilation in Interstellar drew the attention of many scientists. Most agreed that the movie correctly used the concept, but they also noted that it stretched the science to fit the story. In real life, a planet would have to be impossibly close to a black hole to experience such extreme time dilation. The gravitational forces would tear the planet apart long before it got close enough to slow time to the degree shown in the movie. Interstellar, the 2014 movie by famous director Christopher Nolan, is well loved for many reasons. Its all-star cast, breathtaking visuals, catchy music, and most importantly, its bold exploration of interesting scientific ideas. The movie takes us on a journey through black holes, wormholes, and even five-dimensional spaces. Things that sound like they belong in a science class rather than a Hollywood movie. However, Nolan's film is not just another science fiction movie. Instead of brushing aside scientific truth for the sake of an entertaining story, Interstellar tries to balance scientific honesty with the thrill of cinema. It uses real scientific ideas to tell an exciting and thought-provoking story. But how accurately do these scientific theories reflect our current understanding of the universe? Yet, how interstellar uses gravitational time dilation is still important. It takes a complex scientific concept and makes it understandable for everyone. The movie's version of time dilation may be extreme, but it gives viewers an insight into the amazing possibilities of the universe. Let's tell you about wormholes and black holes. The story involves a wormhole. It is like a shortcut through space. The characters in the movie use a wormhole to travel vast distances in the blink of an eye. This is a popular idea in many science fiction stories. But in Interstellar, the filmmakers took the extra step to portray a wormhole in a way that matches our current scientific understanding. Most movies show wormholes as flat, two-dimensional circles. But in Interstellar, the wormhole is a three-dimensional sphere. This is based on calculations from physicist Kip Thorne, who was a consultant on the movie. Scientists praised this accurate depiction. It's a small detail, but it shows the movie's commitment to getting the science right. Another exciting part of Interstellar is its depiction of a black hole. Black holes are areas in space where gravity is so strong that nothing can escape, not even light. In the movie, one of these mysterious objects affects the character's journey in a major way. The film's visual representation of a black hole with light bending around it was also highly praised for its accuracy. However, the movie takes a few liberties with its portrayal of black holes. In Interstellar, a character survives a descent into a black hole. In reality, the extreme gravity of a black hole would stretch anything falling into a thin strand of matter, a process known as spaghettification. This is just one of the ways in which the movie stretches the science for the sake of the story. While Interstellar may take some liberties with its science, its depiction of wormholes and black holes still stands as one of the more accurate in cinema.
the fifth dimension and tesseracts. Interstellar introduces viewers to the idea of a fifth dimension, going beyond our familiarity with three spatial dimensions, length, width, and height, and the fourth dimension of time. This concept stems from theoretical physics and specifically string theory, which posits that the universe may consist of more dimensions than we can perceive. The film visualizes this idea through one of its most memorable scenes involving a tesseract, a four-dimensional cube. Cooper, the protagonist, finds himself in this tesseract, using it to communicate with his daughter in the past. This tesseract exists in the fifth dimension, according to the movie, presents a mind-bending twist in the narrative. It's important to note, however, that while Interstellar bases its portrayal of a fifth dimension and tesseracts on actual scientific theory, it remains speculative due to a lack of empirical evidence. These elements serve more as plot devices, flexing the limits of scientific theory for the sake of storytelling. The tesseract in Interstellar serves as more than a stunning visual effect. It's an ambitious portrayal of a possible fourth dimension from our three-dimensional perspective. The film takes the abstract concept of a tesseract and gives it tangible form and structure, providing viewers with a glimpse into a world beyond our regular experiences. In the movie, the tesseract isn't merely a shape or place, but a means for Cooper to reach back in time and interact with his daughter. This contributes to the film's dramatic twists and complex themes about time and the universe. While this portrayal is deeply rooted in theories of modern physics, particularly string theory, it's crucial to remember that our current understanding of physics and dimensions does not offer concrete proof of tesseracts or higher dimensions. However, it's important to remember that while these ideas have a basis in scientific theory, they're still very much at the frontier of our understanding. Currently, there's no solid empirical evidence to support the existence of higher dimensions or the predictions of string theory. The movie does a remarkable job of turning these speculative theories into a captivating storyline. But these are creative interpretations designed to serve the plot rather than present a factual representation of current scientific understanding. In conclusion, Interstellar strikes a balance between fact and fiction. It engages with real scientific theories but stretches them to create a compelling narrative. It's a reminder that while science fiction can introduce us to complex scientific concepts in an engaging way, it's also important to recognize where the science ends and the fiction begins. So friends, what do you think about this theory? Put your views in the comments section. If you like the video, please like and share it with your friends and space enthusiasts. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get interesting videos.